Hi, I'm Brian Whitmer and I'm going to teach you how to play Setting Sail correctly on the piano. Setting Sail is the theme for Modern Love, a terrific TV series on Amazon Prime. It's such an enjoyable little number that I never once clicked the skip intro option during that show's two seasons. In some ways, Setting Sail reminds me of another iconic TV theme, the one from Cheers called Where Everybody Knows Your Name. Like the Cheers theme, Setting Sail manages to be both uh, upbeat and melancholy at the same time. Maybe wistful is a better word. Like the Cheers theme, Setting Sail is also a piano dominant song, which means that with the right fills and frills, you can still sound a lot like the original recording, just you and the piano. Unfortunately, the song's chord progression is just slightly more complicated than it sounds, so naturally people are playing it wrong in covers all over YouTube. Let's fix that. First, I'm going to run through all the chords, and then I'll show you how to break them up and add some fills to make it sound more like the original recording. Come look over my shoulder. The first chord is a D minor 7. By the way, this is middle C right here. I've got the camera angled a little bit more toward the left end of the keyboard. Middle C, D minor 7. And instead of playing the octave bass like I normally would during the song, I'm just going to do one, one bass note at a time so you can see it more easily. So basically you can play an F chord here, C, F, A, and a D in the bass. That makes F minor 7. We face the music together. This is a G sus4, which resolves to the G. So it's two beats of G sus4. Again, D minor seven. We face the music together. G sus4, G. And throw our hats in the ring. Now, a lot of people are playing this wrong on YouTube because they're confused. Uh, this is similar to one of the most common chord progressions you'll find in pop and folk music, which is a C chord, then a G with a B in the bass, and then an A minor 7. But that is not what's happening here. It's going from a C to an E minor with a B in the bass, and then an A sus4 for two beats that then resolves to the A. So C, E minor with a B in the bass, A sus, A. And then on that last beat, we throw in the, uh, the seventh. So from the top, we face the music together, G. And throw our hats in the ring. Back to the D7. Facing all kinds of weather, G sus, G7. And not afraid. Same run we did before, except this time, instead of going to the A sus, it goes to the A minor seven. From the top. We face the music together. C. And throw our E minor hats in the ring. Facing all kinds of weather. G, uh, G, sus, G7, and not afraid of anything. So again, that is C, E minor with a B in the bass, A minor 7, then an E minor again, but with a G in the bass. When the sun comes up, F, and we're on our way. That's a C with a G in the bass that then resolves to a G. When the sun comes up and we're on our way, A minor. We don't care where we land, 
This is a C, either a sus2 or a, sus, or, or a C9, however you want to say, but it's a C with this D added in. So again, F. When the sun comes up and we're on our way, A minor, and we don't care where we land. Actually, A minor 7 to C sus2. And the rain is hard, we won't give up. Cause your hand is in my hand So we just repeated that again And ah, ah, you make me So F, this time it's to a G sus4 Two beats that resolves to a G Ah, ah you make me A minor 7 Feel invincible This is an E minor with a G in the bass and then a D7 with an F sharp in the bass. How oh, you make me feel invincible. You D7 and me G, but then the next beat, I uh, drop this B down to an A. So it's you. D minor 7 again. Through the wind and hail. This time, C with a G in the bass. Resolve to a G. So again, the, uh, from the start, it's you and me. Through the wind and hail. D minor 7. Setting sail. Now it's a G sus4 to a G. Into the Then it's an F with a C in the bass for the first beat of the last measure and then a C for the remainder of the measure. I prefer this inversion for the F, which is uh, the first F first inversion, jumping down to that inversion of the C. I'll explain why later. So that's the uh, second inversion of the C. So it's you and me Through the wind and hail Setting sail into the world So it's you and me Through the wind and hail Setting sail into the world Okay, let's dive a little deeper now and explore some ornamentations that will really remind your audience of the original. Back to the beginning, D minor 7. We face the music together. Now instead of just resolving that, they put a little piano riff in there, which I interpret as um, G, B, C, triplets on one beat. I'm bringing the G bass up to a B. We face the music together. And throw our hats in the ring. Now I'm in addition to grabbing this G, like I showed you the first run through, we're gonna jump up, take this bass A to C sharp at the same time. And throw our hats in the ring. D minor seven, facing all kinds of weather. Another riff. And now instead of the uh, previous lick, this one's going to be B, D, F. And we're going to do the same thing with the bass. It's going to go from the G to the B. Facing all kinds of weather.
you're not afraid of anything. Hey, when the sun comes up, and now that is all as I taught it to you before, straightforward. On our way, and we don't care where we land. And the rain is hot, and we won't give up, because your hand is in my hand. Now a quick move like I showed you earlier from the F slash C to the full C chord, but there's a little two note riff that we're going to insert. It's just this, D to E. So F slash C, full C, those two notes, and then drop down to the first inversion of the C chord to get the nice voicing with that C on the top. F slash C, C, notes D and E, full C chord. So it's you and me So it's you and me Through the wind and hail Setting sail into the world So there you have it. Like, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful. And be sure to let me know if you post a cover of this song. See you next time.